So this is what I believe to be the next step in my Black Magic Pocket 6K journey. This setup has helped me achieve more stable handheld footage and has made the camera much more of a joy to use. Now the rigs can be pretty large, but that is where this comes in. This is the Black Magic Shoulder Rig. What's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about my new shoulder rig setup. This is the next step for me. I am enjoying the Black Magic rig that I built a couple videos ago, and I wanted to make it a bit more easier to use. So, in a natural evolution of things, I did a lot of research on shoulder rigs so you don't have to. And what I came down to was building what I considered to be a custom conversion kit. Really easy to put on and take off, and cheaper than most pre-built kits. So the first thing I wanna to touch on is what problems does this rig solve? This gets me more stable footage. Using a large black magic rig can create, you know, some shaky handheld footage if you're not careful. Putting it on the shoulder helps create that natural handheld pan that you want while cutting down on unwanted shakes. So this makes the rig easier to use for longer. Naturally, when I was using this thing, I could only handheld it for about five, 10 minutes max and I was good and done. Having the rig on my shoulder is just alleviating the weight that I would really feel in my core and helps me support it up top. And one of the best features is because I keep the tripod plate mounted on the bottom, you can easily go from shoulder rig to tripod setup in no time. So overall, if you built the kit from my last video, you just added an additional $240 to get the necessary items that I have linked down in the description to make your rig a shoulder rig. So building this rig out is super simple. One of the main pieces that you're going to want is this freaking awesome handle. This thing has leather grip, so if you're holding a shoulder rig for longer, this gives you a little bit of extra cushion when using the rig. Next thing up is the handle extensions. This just gives you a little bit more room and brings your hands a little lower, you know, stabilizing your core a little more so you can endure much more with this rig. In addition to that is the rosette piece. This is going to connect everything. That way, everything kind of sits together, perfectly made, super easy to put together. It's all angle adjustable, which was a big thing for me. One of the big things is the shoulder pad. This is optional, but I decided to go with a nice shoulder pad from Nicey Rig. It's about $35, and if I had to do this rig over again, I'd probably get a more expensive shoulder pad, but I wanted to keep everything under 250 bucks, so sacrifices had to be made. And last but not least is one of my favorite pieces. This is the small rig monitor mount. This thing works for monitors, EVFs, it takes the monitor off the top of the camera and moves it right down to the left or right side. So this thing is perfect for keeping the monitor right on your eye line. So yeah, some of my favorite things about this rig, it's really easy to use, super easy to put together, and you know, I can go from tripod to shoulder mount in no time. And for focus, I use the Tilta Follow Focus Mini. This thing is pretty awesome because it's mechanical and I keep it on the right side. That way, if I'm keeping the rig on my right shoulder, I use my right hand to pull focus and it just makes things a lot easier because my left hand is freed up to help stabilize the rig. One of the best parts about this rig is the versatility. You can add and take off whatever you like. One of the things I'm gonna be adding in the near future is a shock mount for a shotgun microphone. That way I can capture pure audio while I'm on the go. It makes interview setups a little bit easier. Also a big slept on feature is the fact that you can just put this thing on the ground and get some insanely low dynamic shots. But yeah, this rig is what I consider to be one of the best and easiest things to use for beginner filmmakers and one of the most solid solutions for professionals. Because essentially, pairing this rig with the Polar Pro Basecamp map box that I have, you just set your settings, hit record, throw it on your shoulder, and you can adjust exposures as you go. But yeah, I feel like overall, this thing has been a solid solution and I'm super happy I took the time to take it from a standard run and gun tripod rig to throwing it over the shoulder. And with that all being said, that's all I have for you today, guys. So if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, consider subscribing because I'm gonna be bringing you more content just like this every week. So you guys stay safe, you're loved, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. All right, I'm out. I'm on my
legs were sweaty. Hey, Google, set the thermostat to cool and change the temperature to 68 degrees. Oh, my God, it's hot. Please leave that in the video. <laughs> 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 <laughs>